All right, today we're going to do a do-it-yourself brake replacement job on a 14,000-pound GVW dump trailer, big gooseneck on the truck here, and uh, get started on this thing. Got some of the tools we're going to need, most of them, grease and hammer and all the parts, most of it, sitting right there. Impact gun, jack jack stand keep this thing from falling down on us and uh, get this thing set up here and we'll get started on it first thing we got to do is get up Stand under here so we don't get, get nothing falling down on us like that. All right, let me get some gloves off. You're gonna need plenty of these here nitrile gloves because you're gonna be getting in that grease. So I'm gonna get a pair on right now, keep our hands halfway clean never fails. By the time I get done, I'm usually all greasy anyway. Not much matter. All right, let's get this thing off there. Ah! This thing around. There we go. It's a four-way lug wrench. I'll tell you that much. Right. Get this thing off here. There. Get them all down here out of the way. Now, to the hub. Let's take your big pliers because we're replacing that dust cover, so it don't much matter if it hurt it or not. Now comes, now comes the greasy part. Then I find the end of that cotter pin. There's a cotter pin right there holds that nut on. You gotta straighten her up a little bit. You can't hardly see nothing. But if you get a hold of it with some vice grips, sometimes you can get it, tuck it on out of there. Then we're gonna replace that cotter pin right there too. That's gonna be new. And the nut. Take a pair of channel locks and get that nut loose. The nut we're going to save in the washer. Everything else is going to be replaced. Let's throw this up here in the up here in the old dust cap. Now this whole hub will come off. That front bearing will fall out. Catch it save that washer. I'm going to use that again. These, they're not too bad a shape, but I'm going to replace them all anyway. You don't have to worry about the inner bearing coming out because it's stuck in there with the grease seal. So it ain't going nowhere. You see the inside of this where that magnet's been running. It's pretty well grooved up pretty bad. And uh, where the shoes slide, not too bad, but that would just tear up that brand new magnet system when we put it in. So we're going to go ahead and just replace these. They've got quite a few miles on them. Now, let me go get my other socket for the 
brake cub here. This is a 9 16 socket. There's only four or five bolts that hold this on. They come off pretty easy. They're not too tight, especially with an impact gun. Get back here. Spun the, spun the stud on the back of that one. You just gotta put your hand back and get all that. Get it tighten up. Come on, get out of here. Your five nuts. You got the lock washers in there too. You want to save them. You're going to use them again. They're going to bounce all over the place. One of them, two, three, four. Where'd the other thing go? They fall down in there. And I got four of them. Now I'll find it. This here somewhere. Alright. Make it easy on this. Just go ahead for now. Just cut these two wires where they go into the back here. Just cut them off. Boy, there wasn't much, there wasn't much shoe left on that thing. Look at that old magnet tore up. I think that's, that's good. It lasted. We'll do the wires later. Okay, now we're gonna take a take this here scraper. Get her. Get this out the way. We go get me a piece of cardboard. Throw down there to catch some of that crap. We're gonna clean off all this, all this junk here. Get all this out of here, as much as we can. We'll break stuff. Sits on top of that hub. We'll clean all this up pretty good. Just to get the heavy stuff out. Scrape it all down. Get all this stuff. This is where the Right there's where your grease seal slides on. When you put that on, I'll show you that here in a minute. Get this all cleaned up. Pretty much. Now, if your bearings weren't tearing up and grinding into metal, you don't have to worry about all this grease here on the front. It ain't gonna go nowhere. It's fine. Alright, let me go grab me a rag real quick because I wipe that off. Get some of this here mess picked off of this here. Seal was that. Clean this off a bit. Make sure there ain't no crud in it. And since these are greasable axles, you want to make sure that little porthole right there has not got anything packed up in it so that your grease can come out when you want to grease them right here on this fit and right here on the end. Take this, take this blower, blow any of this. That stuff off there. Okay. Actually, we're ready now to put the new backing plate with all the shoes on it. Magnet always goes on the bottom. Make sure it says it's on the right side right here. This is the right hand shoe. Shoe, the big shoe is always towards the back. Line up your bolts like that. Slide it right on. Just like that. Gotta get your wires out of the way. What's you going on there? Oh, what the hell is it? Some plastic thing in the way here. All right, there we go. Let me get you on there now. Now that one stud fell out back here. Where'd it go? There it is. That's the one bolt that holds your back and plate on. You can put a wrench on this if you want, but most likely once you go to tighten them down, 
I can't. First one, it's probably kind of snug. Not started on this. lock washers on there so it don't come apart on you. And here's another right behind the now these are these are Dexter never adjust brakes. I haven't used these kind before. I've always had to climb under there and adjust them so we'll see they're supposedly the best you can buy so I'm gonna find out. All right, let me get these tightened up. Yeah. Snug down just a little bit, but it's on low. You don't want banging them too hard. Especially that one that's loose right there. Let's get it going first. There, I'm snug in. Pull out the way a little bit. Just get them snug in there. Like that. Okay, just like that, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Now we got the got the backing plate all on there. Got them bolts snug down tight. New lock washers. I could not find that lock washer that fell out of there. I had to go find me another one. I have no idea where it went. Grubbed legs and took off. But we got brand new brakes on there. They're all snug down. Tighten down, ready to go. Now comes the fun part. We're gonna take this new hub. Now when you buy a new hub, most of them already come with the races already in them, in the inner and outer. Uh, I really haven't seen one when you buy them like this that comes without that. But even if it, uh, if it comes with the races um, not installed, they're pretty easy to put in there. You can't really hurt them races too hard. They're such hard steel. Now you can beat on them with a hammer and not hurting up too bad at all. I mean, scar them. I've beat them pretty bad, but not be able to hurt them. <laughs> but we're going to get greasy. We're going to pack them bearings right here with some grease and uh, put our new grease seal in there once you drop the inner one out. I'll show you that here in a minute. Let me get these things on there. Won't take but a minute. And um, time to put some gloves on and get in some of that grease and make us a, make us a really really nice mess here always good to have these gloves around I may use two or three pair doing a doing each wheel by the time I get done with it but definitely as soon as I get done with the grease I'm gonna take these off because they're gonna be a mess so we're gonna get these on and I'll show you what we're gonna do here I'm gonna take this here Bearing kit out. I'll rip this open here. Come on, man. rip it open. Rip it, rip it open. They got it glued tight. Alright. There's the outer bearing. There's the inner bearing. There's the new cotter pin to put in the axle once you get it snug down. Set that up there. They give you two different seals because he didn't know what size this axle is, but it the one that we're using is going to be the smaller one of the two. It's just slightly smaller. Goes over that spot right here on the. Goes over that spot right there, where that rubber seal slides. Just keep the dust and dirt out. Grease seal. So we'll be using that smaller one. There's this stuff put up here. Now for the grease, just using an all-purpose. It's a red grease. Or no, it's not. It's blue grease. Never mind. <laughs> it's blue. The last one I used was red. That's a new one. Okay. So we're just going to dip into this, get us a whole bunch of that grease out in the palm of our hand, like so. And we're going to start working this into this bearing. Now they do make a tool that you can put on your grease gun, um, cup that you can put on here and pack them full of grease, but uh, I'm old school. I just like to get my hands in it, and pack it in there and just keep working it in. 
work it in, push it in there with the palm of your hand. You'll get it. You'll get it. You can see why I need gloves, huh? But you just keep packing it in there. Slide it up there in the palm of your hand. And you'll fill her full of grease without too much difficulty. You pack her full. Squeeze it in there. Press it down and around them bearings. Don't take much, but it'll get in there. All right. That's pretty well got it. I mean, it's, it's packed pretty full of grease right there. Yeah, do like that right there. Pack it in there. Can't really have too much because it's only going to take so much in there. All right. There's that one right there. Now we're going to set this right on that. Right on that little plastic bag we had here. Get, get this in a bigger one here. Do the same thing with it. Just start packing her full. Just like that there. Now this inner one is real close to that grease port that's on that axle. This one here will get the grease when you pump the grease in it. The outer one won't. There's not a grease port on the outside. It only goes to the inside. But that's all right. We've got plenty of grease here. Just keep packing her full. And then we'll put go ahead and install this one into the hub and put her seal on there. Just pack her full. Take a couple minutes. So, Okay, now we're going to take this and we're going to drop this right inside this hub. Right here, we're going to drop it right in there. You see that's tapered inside of that hub. That, that race right there is tapered. Okay, smaller end goes in for That's the way it rides in there like that right there. All right, now let me get these things off of here. We'll get the grease seal, get it in, and uh, go ahead and get this hub on. Now, install this grease seal in here. Um, it's not too hard. It's not too hard. You just set that, just set it right down there like that, like so. It's going to be kind of hard to film this, I guess, with one hand. You need both hands, really, to be able to see what I'm doing. You might be able to see it from right there. It's going to take this hammer. Just get, just get her started. Just like that. Just get her. Just a little bit like that. Yeah. Take your sledgehammer. Set it right on top. Do a little bit that way. Flip it that way, flip it that way. You'll notice the sledgehammer is flat all the way across the top of it. You just want that grease seal to go flush with this edge right there. It's right where you want it. Now you just take it right on down. Like Make sure she's down flush with it. Might be a little high on this edge still. There you go. That's done. That's in there. Now, we're going to put this thing right up there on our, on our brakes. We're set. I'm going to slide this right over that hub. There it is. That's all the way on. That's it. Now, I'm gonna grab me another glove because I'm fixing to get in this mess again. Told you I use a lot of gloves. Alright, I'm gonna take this inner this outer bearing right here. I'm gonna slide that right in there like so. Make sure you get all the way up in there like that. And this is where, where the washer that we saved. We're going to put this washer 
right back on there. There's that. Like that. We're gonna get the nut that we used before. We're gonna start that on there. Like so. Take his channel off. Trying to get away. You know, now we're gonna before we get too far ahead, we want to just just see where get her snug down in there. Like that. Now we're gonna adjust that nut, the bearings in there, once we've got the wheel on. That way I can spin it, I can feel it. Even a little bit better to what I'm doing. But while we got this off, we're gonna go ahead and connect our wires back up. And I'll show you that right now. Get out of the way here. Okay. Now, right here, we cut these wires off, right there. And we got the two white wires coming out of the new brakes, right here. It does not matter which one of those wires you connect it to. It don't matter. As long as one's ground, one's positive, and uh, it'll work just fine. All right, let me get them connected back up. I'll be right back. All right, as you can see up under here, I got wires put back together, twisted in there and tucked up out of the way so they won't get in no trouble. And like I said, it doesn't matter which one you connect your wires to, because it'll work. All right, now clean up our mess a little bit and uh, put the wheel back on. Adjust that bearing, and uh, I'll go from there. All right, get this thing going here. Get this mess here out of the way. Save this one for those. Well, I wouldn't make a NASCAR tire changer, would I? <laughs> Take me forever. Not really. Yeah. Okay. Take that now. Put it on. Put this on full blast here. Let's give it a snug. I need to jack this up a little bit. It's stuck on the ground. Just about. It's on. 
I give her a little shake. Very good snug right there. You gotta get that cotter pin in there. Now, you gotta find the hole. The cotter pin hole is right there. There's one of them. You know, put that in there. You're gonna have to snug this thing around. Get it around there a little bit. So you can get it lined up. One more hole here, see? Yeah. These are new bearings. You can snug them up a little bit. Like it. And take the iron. And line it. ones with that grease port kind of hard because they don't want to line up. It's hard to get them to line up just right. I'm getting a little hammer here. There, it's going now. It's coming out, coming out right there. We can take this and just give it a little bit of turn. Let's get it right there. Just like that. end around, lock it in place. Like Oh there, now we got the wheel on. I'm gonna set this up right here. We're gonna put the dust cover on. We're gonna be done with this. I'm gonna take but just a minute. This is a collar off of a quick disconnect for a actually for a two inch pool pump. And it just so happens that it fits it's right onto that ring right there. You can't beat them on with this right here, but you'll bend them all up trying to get them on there because that's supposed to stay on there pretty tight. We're going to just smack this on here with a hammer. Get that right there like that. And start tapping it. Get it started. Perfect. No dents. That one's done. I'll tell you what. I got to finish this thing up. That's about all I can show you for now. And uh, see you on the next one. Have a good day.